Not the best break off shot from Mark. He's left the obligatory red. That was the first session pot success. 91% for Mark Selby. That's good. Ronnie O'Sullivan down to 83%. That's not good. But tonight, 97% pot success. And it's going to stay like that with pots like that. One. Cue ball has come a little bit close to the cushion, but tremendous pot. Now, if you're having a good day, you might be in a position where you can just roll this blue in and cannon the red on the right-hand side of the table. Well, he didn't, but boy, I couldn't tell you how well he cued that. Six. Under the cushion, thin blue, and just stroked it in as though it was over the pocket. Wonderful. Seven. getting this happen. I don't blame him. He's going back to his seat to sit down while the referee... The pink spot isn't available, but, but I must say, Kent, they do take a while respotting some of these <laughs> balls. I mean, it's in a direct line, as long as he's not touching, but... It's no harm to go back and sit down, because you're just standing there waiting. Born in energy. Just go back and relax, refocus. Yeah, and thinking about the shot you're going to play. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. 13. <laughs> Fourteen. Yeah, we're only playing for the black now. You, you may have to play a little cannon on the red to the right of the black. Mm, we just didn't get into it enough. He's got a red to the left middle, but that's not what he was playing for. 21. Big shot, this. Big shot, great <laughs> shot. Fantastic pot to the left centre. I'm taking this red away now. We'll release the black, of course, into both pockets. 30. We've still got quite a bit of work to do if he wants to win the frame from this visit. Needs that cue ball to slow up. 37. Lost the cue ball. That's no good. Maybe disappointed. Well, he played a, a blue. Not unlike this earlier in the frame. May have to play a similar shot. Yeah, I think if it was a natural, he may have played it now. He may be concerned that there's a possibility he could go in off into the right corner. It's the only reason I and think he's not played the blue already. We'll see. Good queuing needed. And got. Couldn't have played that any better. Forty-three. Yeah. And he's just about on this red. That's his target. Sixty-eight. He's got a nice angle on the black, he has. Nice angle on the black to just to go into the reds and try and develop some. 
to the cue ball too much, but he has a red into the right center. 51. play for the, the Reds down here, but there's one in the bulk end. Just got to get the pace of this right. Doesn't want to hit it too hard. He's OK, and he's not hampered by the yellow. 57. So he can pop this red, leave a nice angle on the brown. He's only three reds away from clinching this frame and going into the mid-session interval. Just two frames behind. So the first mini target would have been achieved. Obviously, the lights were won all four, but winning three of the four, you felt was imperative. That looks good. It looks perfect. 62. This pink to go 69 points in front with just 67 remaining. Sixty-nine. Seventy. He's certainly buzzing around the table now, Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's He's definitely got his mojo back. He lost it early 77. on in this match in the first session, but 78. he's refocused. We have a match on, John. 85. Yes, we certainly 86. do, Ken. And two of the Best players in the world, no doubt. We want it to be a good match. And that's what we're going to get. I'd love to see the century now. That I've just put the icing on the cake here in these... 94. ..for these first four frames. And that's the 101st century break of the tournament. And more importantly, that's Ronnie O'Sullivan's 850th century of his career. One hundred and seven. One hundred and nine. Well, this has been a fantastic break. A couple of brilliant blues into that right centre and a couple of amazing reds from around the black spot area into either middle pocket as well. That's been so fluent. One hundred and sixteen. Great to watch. Yes, and what's impressed me more, Ken, is the fact, as we said, he the first frame. Would his head drop? No. No way. All around the houses. Slow down, George. One hundred and twenty seven. Sensational play from Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's up for the fight. That's why everybody wanted to see it at the Barbican. Mark Selby and Stoughton knew that at the start of the evening. He led by four. It's now reduced to two. We have a match on. 7-5.